Now, for the last two weeks, I have been going to the gym twice a day, every single day. And that's something I plan to do until the end of the month, at the very least. And in this video, I want to speak about why I'm doing this crazy thing, what the results are so far, how, and just my general thoughts on pushing yourself a bit further, a bit more than usual. So first and foremost, why exactly this madness? Now, you might have seen in the past when there's a new film coming out and there's an actor in this film, in this movie, who has changed the shape of his body, who has just become ripped. Usually it's Hugh Jackman or Jake Gyllenhaal. I have read a few of those. I've read a few of those articles. And for me, it was always intriguing. The fact that they put in so much work. For example, Jake Gyllenhaal for Roadhouse. He would work out six hours a day. Boxing, training, running, doing a thousand belly ups. Just to get in shape for this boxing movie which he was making. And for me, I'm a guy who's never really been crazy about fitness. It might seem that way. But I've never been a gym freak. I've never really cared about getting super ripped. I want to be in shape, but it's not something that I actually care about in the process in terms of getting pleasure from it. But what has always intrigued me is the determination behind it. The fact that people can push themselves so far. So when I would read those articles about this actor who just changed his body shape, who lost weight, who got built muscle, I always wondered, could I push myself that far as well? Now, I don't have six hours in a day to spend working out, but what about going to the gym twice a day? That's something I always thought about. Like, would I be disciplined enough to go through with it? And so this year, finally, I started that challenge for myself. And it's something I've been doing for the last two weeks. And I'm gonna share with you the highs, the lows, I'm not gonna make it sound like it's just an incredible thing with blessings, but there are some pitfalls to doing this as well. So first and foremost, I already said that. Secondly, let me share with you how exactly I've been doing this. So for me, I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is head to the gym. So I work out, no food, and I do not eat until 12. So I'm actually, mixing this in with intermittent fasting no food until 12. at 12 i have my lunch do some work and at around four or five i head to the gym again and i work out for the second time in the day now everything i'm doing is not strictly speaking scientific or strategic i haven't consulted with any personal trainer all i've done simply is double my existing routine. So on Mondays, I would do chest. Now I do chest in the mornings and in the evenings again. On Tuesday, I would work on my biceps, triceps, my arms. So I do that in the morning and then in the evening again. On Wednesday, two leg days, well, two leg sessions. Thursday, shoulders. Friday, abs. Saturday, legs again which for me is interesting because I never used to want to work out legs and now I'm more or less hitting them four times in a week. And then on Sunday, abs again, because those ab days are a bit like rest days. They're not exactly full muscle groups like with your arms or with your legs, as far as I know. By the way, if you're watching this video, do not take my advice as fitness advice. I'm in okay shape, I'm in good shape, but I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not someone who has studied these things professionally. I only speak from my experience. But that has been my routine, going to the gym twice a day, every single day. Now, in terms of the amount of time I spend in each session, I would spend about 45 minutes to an hour. However, I will be very honest with you guys. When you're going twice a day, there are days where the second session, I just feel exhausted between having worked out in the morning and having done my own work for my life, I feel exhausted. So sometimes the second session is only 20 minutes. There are days where it has been 10 minutes and I just wanted to give up. 
but usually I will hit that 45 minute mark. Usually I will hit that 45 minute mark. It's only when I'm really, really exhausted that I reduce it to 20 minutes or 10 minutes and then go back home. So that's just to be honest with you guys. And I think that in terms of executing this, if it's something you wanna try out, the reason I've been able to do it is because I have given myself the permission to fail. So two times a day is my standard, but if I get to the gym and I realize I am not being productive because I'm completely exhausted because my spirit is just not into it, I push myself, but if I really cannot push myself, I give my, myself the permission to go back home. So I will head home and I will continue the next day because one thing I've realized is if you push yourself too far, then you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to stick to it. But overall, I have stuck to my two-a-day routine. So in the first week, I missed a couple second-day sessions. So I ended up going 12 times instead of 14. And in the second week, something happened, which is what I'm going to share with you in terms of pitfalls. Now, in the last couple days, I have been sick. So I have not been able to hit the gym at all, let alone twice a day. Now, is this because I have been going to the gym so intensely? Is that why I fell sick? I cannot say for certain. My best guess is that that is not the reason why I think it has to do with other things. But in the spirit of openness, I will share that. So that allowed me to take some downtime from hitting the gym as well. Because I was sick, I was not as strict with my diet and I did not go to the gym. But tomorrow, I will be back. So I'm actually back to full health right now and I will be back tomorrow. Now, the other interesting thing I will say about this is usually when I fall sick, I am out for about seven days. I'm out for about a week to 10 days. But this last time when I fell sick, it was very fast. So I felt sick. I started to feel sick on Friday. And by Sunday yesterday, I was back to 100%. I still did not want to push my lock. So I did not return to the gym immediately. But I was only ill for about two days. That's almost never happened to me before, which I can recall. So these are some of the... Uh, this is some of the process so far of me hitting the gym twice a day. Now, in terms of the results, in terms of the results, you might think, is it worth the sacrifice? Is it worth it to hit the gym twice a day? One of the reasons I started this was because I was being impatient with results. Now, fitness is never something that you can rush. You cannot rush that journey because it has to be something long term. Your health your diet, your physical fitness, your peace of mind it has to be something long term. It's not something you just rush for a week, a couple weeks, a month. However, I was impatient and so I doubled up my sessions. And I will say the biggest place where I've seen results is in my chest. And it came so suddenly. I was staring at myself in the mirror and I could just see this partition for lack of a better word because my chest size had grown so there was now a uh, a space between each region so that's definitely been affected and overall i am getting toned so i can see the results starting and it's a steady process even when you're doubling up but i can definitely see the results i think i would have to wait till the end of the month to share full results and say how everything has gone but I would say it's definitely more effective than going to the gym just once now am I trying to tell everyone to go to the gym twice a day first of all most people's schedules do not allow for that secondly it's not something you can keep up long term with your energy levels with your fitness even in terms of health it might not be the healthiest thing to do to go to the gym twice a day but I think adding in some weeks or some months of double gym sessions, this is just my own opinion as a non-professional. In my experience, from what I've seen so far, I think it's a great thing to do. If you can add in a week, two weeks, every few months of doubling up your sessions, of increasing your activity levels, 
I think it's definitely something that's beneficial. And I think if you realize that there are some people pushing themselves four, five, six hours a day, and not just actors, even people like athletes, sports people, who are literally working out all day long because it's their job, and they still manage to stay alive, stay healthy, stay fit, stay fit, then you can do it too. You can do it too. Doubling up your sessions for a week, for two weeks, and then stopping is nothing compared to what some people out there do. Now, again, it doesn't even make sense for most people because it's not going to fit into their schedule. But what I'm trying to say is, is it something that's going to kill you? I do not think so. Again, not professional advice, but it's not going to kill you. And if anything, it's going to put you to a higher state than you've ever been physically and mentally. And that is the biggest takeaway for me is forget about whatever changes have happened in my body in terms of my mind, in terms of my mood, in terms of how I feel, my positivity. I think it's just a great dramatic change. Now things happen and they just bounce off me mentally, psychologically. So I feel very good doing this twice a day workout. And specifically, one of the ways in which it's helped me is I feel as if I'm a person who can get difficult tasks done. It just makes me feel supreme. It makes me feel capable. And that's one of the most beautiful things about this. It's not about the muscle. It's not about the change in your body shape. It's just about feeling I'm doing something difficult. I'm doing something that most people would not even try. And therefore, if I can do this, I can get all other tasks in my life, in my day done, and I can, go, I can do them easily. All right, so those have been my thoughts on working out twice a day. Hopefully you're able to take something from this. I'm not advising you to try this. I think it's beneficial to give it a go for a short period of time. It's not something I'm going to keep up for the rest of my life, but for this month and maybe next month as well, I will continue to experiment with this and share the results with you guys. And that is it. Have a lovely day. See you in the next one. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Good, fantastic. Okay. This is completely random, but I am practicing public speaking and confidence out in the open. So I have to give quick, short speeches to complete strangers on one random word if you guys want to play the game. I personally would rather you You're no? Okay, yeah, no worries. Sorry, but, uh, guys, I'll leave you to it. Take care. Thank you so Appreciate much. it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing else. <laughs> hey, Tam, okay. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your day in London. <laughs> High five, nice.